Well, good evening. You're watching today on ENCA, GSTV Channel 43 with me, Dan Moyane. Thanks for joining us earlier. We were live in Parliament. We understand that budget vote of the presidency is still going ahead this evening. There could be more live moments for you later on here on ENCA but also some analysis of what has been said. But let's tell you about another big story of the day that we've been following for you. The health minister, Dr. Joe Patla, uh, gave another update about government's efforts to contain the current cholera outbreak in the country. 23 people have died in Hamanskral in Tswane. The national death toll currently standing at 25. ENC senior reporter Avu Mdila is tracking that story for us. He's back from Hamanskra, joining us now live in our studios. Avu, good evening. Welcome back. Now, I understand the Hamanskra outbreak is one of three we've had in the country so far. Just tell us more about what the minister had to say about these outbreaks. That's correct, brother. And three outbreaks of cholera in 2023. While the authorities are still in the dock of the actual source of cholera, they're a bit more clearer on the events that might have happened. For example, they know that the first cases of cholera that came in the country have been imported cases. It's the cases that were reported on the 5th of February from two sisters that traveled to a funeral in Malawi and upon then them coming back into the country, these uh, cholera cases were detected what, from- Was that the one in Eguruleni? Yes, that's the one in Eguruleni from these two sisters from actually Limpopo and Messina. Um, you go on to find out that that uh, outbreak lasted for about a month at least, just over a month, and uh, it saw nine cases, I beg your pardon, 11 cases with one death of a child. Um, then it died down a bit up until the free state outbreak happened. That's the second one where it, there were nine cases with one fatality that, of course, has been recorded. When it comes then to the Haman Skral one, it comes from a 56-year-old gentleman from Limbopo, Messina as well. He's a policeman that went to Haman Skral, the police college there, for some training. He arrived on the 7th of uh, May. And on the 12th of May, he, he had some symptoms. He was vomiting, had a bit of diarrhea. And three days later, on the 15th of um, May, it was confirmed that, in fact, uh, he, he had cholera. Then thereafter, there were rapid cases from the policemen themselves, about 33 that all had these symptoms. Eight of them were Members of the SAPS. Of the SAPS. In Haman That Skral. were all in Haman Skral in this particular police college there. Um, eight of them admitted to the hospital, one of them in ICU. But the suggestions are that that's not um, confirmed 100% as yet. They're all still trying to figure out what the exact source is. Some of what came out, of course, in that briefing that we had with the health minister a bit earlier on. Let's take a listen to Dr. Joe Pata as he expands on what may have happened. Uh, even the final, final source in this bigger outbreak in the Hamaskral area, uh, the drilling down may never even confirm whether the gentleman who came from Mosina uh, is the one who carried it into the area, but it's immaterial in terms of readiness. What the fact of the matter is we have cholera. Uh, as we had it beginning of the year, we are lucky that, that seemed to have, the chain seemed to have been broken. It's now bigger, that chain is bigger, because a lot more people have been, have been infected. Uh, even some who uh, may not have even been tested because they recovered quickly, not re requiring a laboratory confirmation. But the fact that there are many more people who had diarrhea, both here in uh, Tswane, in Hamaskral and Greater Tswane, and also in uh, Free State. What it means is that, uh, as uh, my colleague Dr. Kalu of the WHO was saying, we have to just up our readiness across all provinces. Avio, from what we've heard from the minister today, from that briefing, can we say that we're seeing the back of this cholera outbreak in Hamaskral? Well, they, it is on a downward trend. If you look at the last week, there have only been 30 confirmed cases, uh, two deaths in the last week. In the last 24 hours, seven cases, no deaths. So it is on a downward trend. But there is, of course, fears that it may cross the border. Something, something that the minister was at pains and even in explaining that it may actually reach other provinces. Hence, we have to be vigilant. Let's take a listen to the health minister once more. We have to assume it is going to go into Limpopo, it's going to go into Northwest. Now that the cases which have been reported are those which have already been accounted for, but they are resident mm. in parts of Northwest. 
which are bordering Gauteng. So what it, ta what it says uh, is that because also people travel, there are some who have not been laboratory confirmed, but who are going to be traveling, sharing food, sharing other utensils. So that those messages of readiness and also index, what we call in medicine, index of suspicion by the primary health workers so that when people come, especially from, they get a clear history. If somebody comes from an area like Tswane, where there's been already indication, if they have any signs of abdominal problems, uh, that a suspicion of possible cholera must not be forgotten. Mm. So there are all these measures which we're going to be drilling, you know, as prevention, but also in terms of early detection and treatment. That's Dr. Joe Pasha there, the Minister of Health, ending that uh, update from Aviwim Dila about the latest status of the cholera outbreak. The numbers are declining. Fingers crossed it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be ending soon, but there is concern it might cross to other provinces. Let's hope not.